ASP and sell through rate, they're two common metrics that every good eBay seller looks at and really studies to see how it affects their business. But the question I have is what is more important to an eBay store when it comes to the algorithm, getting traffic, and making sales. That's something we're gonna talk about today, guys. And we're gonna talk about those pesky eBay monthly limits. Some of you guys get those. I've never experienced, but we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, that's right. You hear me? I said, I've never experienced eBay monthly limits. Hmm. All right, guys, lots to ship out today. We got 20 cards, pretty good day. We're just gonna get right started and everything and just get right into our topics. Don't wanna waste much time anymore with the, uh... <clears throat> you know, this is what, so this is how many and then we're going to get into it but that's kind of what i just did but let's get right into it <laughs> um yeah 20 cards first order as you see reggie jackson mike piazza who else we got in there bo jackson brett butler and a weird dave anderson 1989 tops dave anderson 1989 tops that's an interesting one not sure why but I will take the sale. And with a five card sale, that means that card was about 60, 70 cents. So not bad. Not bad for a complete common. So let's see. We are talking about. So David says he's struggling on getting enough listings. He keeps hitting his eBay monthly limit and eBay will only allow him one, one increase per month of those numbers. Currently, he's sitting at 400 listings with 100% feedback, and he's completely confused on why he has these monthly limits because he's been selling for almost 20 years on the platform. That, that's crazy to me. And I don't know if you're going to like my insight on this one, but let's talk about it. eBay listings. It's what we were talking about. How do I have so many eBay listings? Well, we talked about it before. I've got the premium store. So I have 10,000 listings with the option to go up to 50,000 additional free listings in certain categories. But that is actually not what David is talking about. David is talking about the eBay monthly limits on selling and listings. That's a very different thing. What some people don't realize as new sellers is you can have a thousand item store but you might not get a thousand items listed. And the reason is because you're a new seller. eBay doesn't have the trust in you yet to give you that much. They'll take your money for that much, but they won't let you list that much. And so the monthly limits are designed to, you know, make sure people are good sellers, make sure they're doing what they're supposed to. Um, so David, he said he's been selling for almost 20 years. So he's got a good track record, but he can't get above 400 listings, which, I think it's crazy for somebody that's sold for 20 years and has a good track record. That's absolutely nuts. Um, and I think it's absolutely nuts too because I've sold for almost 20 years. And people never believe me when I say this, but I don't have monthly limits. I don't. I know people don't believe me. I've shown people the screenshots multiple times in my seller hub, but I do not have monthly limits. Um, reason? I don't know. I always thought it was because I sold on eBay for, you know, 15, 20 years, got the good track record. But obviously David, David said he's been on for almost 20 years and he's got the limits. So I don't know. Maybe I was grandfathered in at some point. I know there's other people that have been around for a long time that don't have these limits. And I will tell you, if you don't have the limits, it's a great thing. You don't have to worry about what a lot of you guys are worrying about. Um, I can only imagine starting another account right now and trying to deal with the monthly limits, then requesting upgrades to be able to list more or sell more. But it's been quite nice. I don't have them. I know some of you are thinking everybody's got monthly selling limits. Just go to your seller hub. It shows right there. Guys, I'm going to include some screenshots in my seller hub right here. And you're going to see I ain't got them. I don't have them. Um, and I wish I could tell David why I don't and how he can do better um, in getting upgrades, but it's something I can't because I haven't had that problem. So guys, you've seen the screenshots now. They're been up on the screen. 
tell me where they are. I know some of you guys say customization. Go there, you'll see the option to turn on your monthly limits. I'm gonna give you the screenshot right now on my customization tab and what it shows within my seller hub, what fields I can add to my screen. You're gonna see, once again, I don't have monthly limits. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. I just, I don't have them. Um, all I can say though, David, is just to keep trying. Um, I would think if your sales volume is there and you're making enough money, that's the thing, money, probably more than sales volume, if it's high enough, they may, you know, give you more than one upgrade a month. I've heard of other people calling in and getting multiple upgrades. So, I mean, I would just keep trying. You might get lucky, get a different eBay rep, you know, because half of them don't know what the hell they're talking about. So you can try that. But David, there's not much more I can do to help you. So this eBay seller says he uses a similar inventory system to me, except he sorts it by sport, set, and then by card, base, chase, insert, you know. And he also has an Excel spreadsheet where he keeps track of where each set is. That way, if he ever forgets, he knows where it is. Now, that's a good idea. Let's talk about that one. When it comes to listing systems, you guys have seen my video before. Uh, you see how I store my listings. And I am sorry, but looking at it through YouTube seller, huh? I mean, YouTube seller, see what happens. I talk about EAA seller hub. Looking at YouTube Studio, uh, it just says user ILM, da, 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 something like that. Um, I'm sure on the actual YouTube page, it shows up with your name, but that's what I'm seeing right there. Whoever you are, he says he has a similar system, except he sorts his by sport, then by set, and then separated by card, base, chase, inserts, etc. That kind of sounds almost like the Burbank model to me, um, from what we've seen in all the many tour videos we've seen on YouTube of their warehouse. Um, for me, that just, for me, it doesn't work. Um, it can, it comes down to time. When I list my cards, I don't sort them all out. If I sorted everything and listed by a group, if I listed by, say, 2009 upper deck and I listed a ton of those and I could go to that box and do that I would but for me I kind of feel like it's going to take up too much time because then you've also got the adjustments you have to make when you add more to that pile you got to start moving things around the way I'm doing it now I feel like kind of works because it's got that flexibility to where I don't have to worry about moving cards if, you know, I have 89 tops, say, 57, 59, 64, 68, 110, and then I get like number 60, and then I have to go through, start searching through and putting the cards in the right order. Um, by how I'm reading, I feel like that's how your system works. Um, but it works well for you, and if it works well for you, that's great. I think one of the things we forget here on YouTube is like, one of us can say something, and it doesn't mean that's the way it needs to be done. We've all got different ways. And that's kind of what I love about how I'm running this channel now is you guys put in comments about how you do things. It gives me some ideas on how I can change mine, but it also makes me think if mine is the working way for me um, and could another system work for me as well. Um, the You've also got an Excel spreadsheet indicating where each set is and what box. Um, that that seems like it would definitely be a big help if you can't remember. Um, I don't know if you use the eBay SKU system or not, where you can also put in this custom SKU where that box is. I don't know if that would help. Um, then instead of going back and consulting your spreadsheet when you print your uh, pick list, it'll tell you right on the custom SKU where that box is. So that's what I tend to do a lot, is I just go to there. But, I mean, hey, that system works for you. That's great for me. 
I, I don't know, maybe it's just because of the time crunch I'm always on. <laughs> got my full-time job, I got the kids' sports, I'm always on the run. And this is just easy where I could just go box, say, 10, tab F, and then pull out and look for Kenny Lofton, Upper Deck 129. And it works for me, but I'm glad to see that works for you. And guys, I'm glad that I could offer different viewpoints and, you know, give you guys different options. Because from what I've seen in comments here and on Instagram, is that a lot of you guys that watch are new sellers, um, new sports card sellers, and you're trying it out. And you're looking for how to do things. And I don't want you to think my ways the only way my way is the correct way because i'll tell you what there's a lot of stuff i do that i could probably save a lot of time or do completely different and get better results so i love the different th topics where i can just mention those for you and i am really rambling about that aren't i probably because i only have two topics for today and i still got like five cards so i'm like dragging it out a little bit <laughs> um but, you know, let's get this last card and we'll just go switch to another topic. I'll come up with something off the top of my head. But if you're interested in what he's talking about, I'm so sorry I can't see the name. I really am. If you're interested in what he's talking about with my listings and how I do it, I'm going to link in the description below. Actually, no, it's going to be the first comment and I'm going to pin it. It's going to be a listing, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a link to my video where I show you my 15,000 listings and how I store them. Since that video has come out, I'm now approaching 18,000 listings, which is pretty crazy in my mind. I never thought I'd have a store like that. But switching to sports cards has definitely made it a lot easier to get that high. So Freeman says, you got a Fujitsu, how much? We'll talk about that. But he says he removed all of his cards from his store, all 200 cards, because the ASP was dragging his store down. That's right, the ASP was dragging his store down. It was time to move everything. He only sold three in a couple months. It's just not worth the shitty price. And he doesn't know how people make money selling these cards. Wow, that's a lot, and I can't wait to talk about this one. I do have the Fujitsu. I think I spent between four and 500, about about a year and a half ago. Yeah, between four and 500, um, no, not even a year and a half ago, probably about nine months ago. I'd have to go back and look, but it was between four and 500. I got it off Staples, refurbished, I believe. But you removed all your cards from your store because it brought down your ASP. Um, waste of time adding those in your opinion. Um, the question I have is, what does the AP, your ASP being dragged down matter? Um, ASP really doesn't hurt your metrics on eBay, so I'm not sure why that would matter. Now, I understand some of your other points about only selling three cards in a month. Not worth the shitty price. Get it. Don't know how people make money selling that crap. Get it. What I don't understand is what the ASP has to do with dragging down your store. Because when I look at my ASP on Seller Hub, that's just a mental thing to say, hey, I want to work a little bit less. Let me get that ASP higher so I don't have to ship out as much. I don't have to list as much. I got higher ASP. I'm bringing in more money per item. That's what ASP is for. Does it hurt your eBay store metrics? No. I don't believe it does at all. I don't think there's anything out there that shows that it does. But not selling any cards and having three, car three cards selling months out of around 200 that can your, hurt your store, I believe, because of your sell-through rate. Your sales conversion rate is going to be lower because you've got all these items listed that aren't selling. That, that I can get, um, and that I would completely understand, especially if you're an everything seller. You don't want your store being suppressed at all because of low sell-through rate on you know long-tail items. At that point, I would 100% say open a second store for your long tail items. See guys, like I said, over time, my thoughts do evolve, especially the more I hear from you guys. Um, but that could definitely affect your store is the sales conversion rate. I mean, sales conversion rate. Um, but the ASP of your store and, and bringing down 
all your cards because of your ASP being low, honestly, that's all up here. Especially if you've only sold three cards, it really didn't do much to your ASP. Three cards isn't going to tank you, especially if you're making sales. But I do appreciate that right there. And guys, appreciate you being here today. We're actually going to cut out that outro thing. We're going to leave that in the past. Um, got another video coming up in two days. In the meantime, why don't you check out this video about eBay's high fees and what it does for you and if it is hurting your profits. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to catch you on the next one.